Yo, everybody, it's Heat Override, and I'm ready to bring a pain for you this week. Oh, yeah! Another good week, another profitable week, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to start it off. We're going to talk about the last four teams in the NFL left. I'm going to walk through my process of how we're going to do it. I'm going to take a couple questions off of the internet, and without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, yeah! So let's get to it. Bring the bang! (laughs) What up, everybody? Ooh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was a crazy week. I went 3-1 and in my picks. I've only lost twice. Pittsburgh Steelers and the Rams. Uh, so most likely I'll probably get this right or wrong. Uh, right from the go, I think it's going to be, I mean, now it's on Mahomes, but I think Mahomes plays. <sighs> really love Buffalo. I like Josh Allen. But let's talk about how they got here. So, you know, the Ravens got dismantled by the Bills, just like I said. Tampa Bay took apart the Saints because... I don't see how some people think that the Saints are the best teams. I think that they have great players at great positions. But I think sometimes those posi- positions overshadow like the whole Taysom Hill crap that Peyton pulls. He didn't have Taysom Hill, so he was out of his element. He had to actually coach a game, and he lost because, well, Tampa Bay's defense stepped up. And you weren't going to beat Tom Brady three times in one season. So that's how they kind of went down with that. You know, the Rams game kind of went the way I wanted it to. We, we held them out of the end zone a lot, but unfortunately, we couldn't produce enough offense. We just weren't, you know, Cooper Cup being gone, and it was great to see jo- Jefferson step up. I thought Reynolds would step up a little more. He did, but I think Jefferson did more with the opportunity. So I actually, like, of those four receivers, I would put Jefferson jumps ahead of Reynolds. Maybe we cut Reynolds. I think he's expendable at this point, but we got to keep Woods and Cup because the plays that we run do better. But it makes you ask, if we got rid of, like, say, Reynolds and Woods and put, like, a superstar kind of like DK Metcalf in that place, would that make the Rams better? Because I think Akers makes the Rams better. I like our secondary. I like our young linebackers. I think we're good. They're another year of season. They got close. They know how to play defense. We do need some depth at linebacker, but outside of that, I think we're good. We really, really got to hope that Cam Akers develops into that kind of back that Todd Gurley became for us. So that being said, you know, that's kind of the, you know, things. But I knew the Rams are going to lose. I knew it. I mean, they just, Green Bay is just awesome this year. They've been awesome. And we have the formula to beat them, but yeah, Rodgers in his zone right now. It took away Adams, just like, you know, Ramsey played him hard. And, you know, that whole Adams touchdown the first, they could have got that covered. And all those people just stayed there. And Ramsey was yelling at him after that play, too. No one actually uh, moved over to Adams. I know a lot of you may have saw the play or didn't see the play. I mean, at this point right now, there really isn't that much going on. But, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about, you know. And, of course, you know, Kansas City was going to be Cleveland, but, man, When Mahomes went down, Cleveland had that chance. And that hit, that's actually one of the questions uh, about Harrison Smith, who I call Hunter Smith. (laughs) So, uh, shout out to my boy, Scotty. Scotty definitely comes in with the football takes and everything. He's a definitely respectable dude. Uh, He's part of my fine casual crew. So, everybody gives Hawkward, brother. Oh, yeah, I want to go Hawkward all the way, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> he's my dude, and uh, but he's deep, he's deep like me, you know, like Star Wars, he likes sports, you know, he can do a little bit of politics, he don't give a crap about that, I don't give a crap about that, maybe he does more than me, I don't want to speak for him, but who gives a shit? Oh yeah! <laughs> well, yeah, I got a little crazy there, but anyway, you know, sometimes Heat Override comes out. Hell yeah! That being said, alright, so... We're, we're matched up with Kansas City and Buffalo, who I thought were the two best teams in the AFC. And we're left with Tampa Bay and Green Bay Packers. So, 
I think Green, Green Bay's been great. And, I mean, I can put it on record right now. I've been, I, I already knew Tampa Bay would be in this spot with Tom Brady. I have three separate bets, four bets now, I don't, whatever, with Tampa Bay going to the, uh, winning the Super Bowl. I also have a big bet. Uh, the FanDuel did a, a 100% max boost or 1,000-point boost, whatever it was, uh, on KC. Well, I, I mean, I want all this money off KC winning the Super Bowl and Mahomes MVP, which I'm behind on. I had Mahomes MVP bought last week at ten at week ten for Super Bowl MVP, and I, I I've I've lacked a little bit of that because I have such I do so many things in life you know from martial arts with my daughter at TKO Erie catch us on the twenty seventh on Discovery where it's undercover billionaire comeback city it's all about TKO Erie represent. Bring the pain! So, that being said, you're left with, let's start with the AFC things, side of things. So, you're left, you're left with Kansas City and the Bills. The Bills can be Kansas City. They, they, they did get a little beat up by Kansas City earlier in the year, but these two teams are going different directions. Both of them are on a roll. Both of them have stomped out their, their opponents for the most part. But now... This whole health issue with Mahomes is big. What? Big like the machismo's head. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, sitting there. Uh -huh. So this is so so my dude, my dude uh, Joseph on my Facebook. He wanted uh, he wanted me to give him a shout out. He wanted me to do his the little, a macho man and goes. Nobody's circling, uh huh. They going round and round, spinning 360 degrees, uh huh. Yeah, nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills, uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. What? Oh yeah. That's for you, buddy. That's all for you. I don't know how crazy it was, but. Anyway, for all the people that you know, he'd override. That's what I do. Uh, but uh, that's that's where you get. That's what you get. You know, when you listen to a normal bring the pain. But this right here is my sports editions. You know, talking about stuff. Threw that in there. Mahomes plays Chiefs win. That's how it rolls. I think the I think my over that I bought today was uh, fifty six point five, something like that. I think that goes over. I, I think both defenses can. I, here's the thing, though. I mean, Buffalo's secondary is good. White's good. White can, I mean, Tyreek Hill is good. They have the team, the secondary, to really slow down. But it was the running game that got them last time. So now, I, and I, you know what? I just don't think the Chiefs are going to freaking use Le'Veon Bell at all. It's going to be Williams. They don't use Bell. So Why would you pick him up if you were going to use him? I mean, yeah, they give him carries and catches, but right now he's almost becoming an obsolete um, it's it's pretty much featured Mahomes right now. Mahomes is the man, and he's just going to make everything happen, which is why you've seen so many runs by Mahomes leading to what happened this week. So it makes you kind of wonder, maybe we should just be running the ball a little bit. But, I mean, this game is just going to be, you know, it's going to be intense. And for the Bills, it's actually not bad because they can get it, you know, it's going to be a little warmer in KC, maybe, the way this winter's been, you know. And so we'll, we'll talk to DFS plays. On, and the bets and the overs, things like that. Uh, I want to go into it. I th I think Josh Allen has something to prove. He knows he lost earlier to Mahomes, but I, and he watched it happen. But Josh has won some big games recently, all right? And he's doing it. But he, the Bills can win this game. They can. This could be the year of the Bills. This could be the Super Bowl for the Bills. Because I think I will go for the Bills if they make it to the Super Bowl. But all my money's on Tampa Bay and Kansas City since February. When I or last February, when I won all the money from Kansas City. So, that being said, we'll flip over to the NFC things. Packers, Tampa Bay. I you know, it's funny that Tom Brady puts himself in these situations all the time, and Aaron Rodgers hasn't had to deal with this bullshit forever because he hasn't had to play. Brother! Hasn't had to play! What? Tom Brady! Now he's got to play Tom Brady to go to another Super Bowl. It's been a while 
since Aaron Rodgers has been to the Super Bowl, and then his fallout with Mike McCarthy, and then, you know, him calling the plays, not calling the plays, <clears throat> this is this is big, people. Hell yeah! Like, really big. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I, I both both teams can win this game, but right now, Vita Vey coming back. Ooh, Vita Vey. No, that, that I, I don't care what you say. Vita Vey plays Sunday. He might not be conditioned, but he's still Vita Vey. He's still going to clog the middle, and you don't even need to him because you have everybody else that's done a great job that he's been gone, but now that he's coming back, he's going to give that third stringer and that fourth stringer a little less time, and he's going to come in, and then he gets two weeks to work out for the Super Bowl. You can't really get into game shape that fast. So they might keep him out. But I think he plays. I think Vita Vey plays. I think Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams, they're shut down. They're shut down. Yeah. Hell and yeah. And that's going to make Aaron Rodgers beat you. But right now, Aaron Rodgers is in a mode. In a mode. Like, just killer assassin mode. He literally throws Devontae Adams the ball for touchdowns whenever he wants. Literally. He just throws fucking touchdowns. Sorry I swore, but this is, yeah. So, you're going to look at this, it's going to be hard for the Packers to cover that many receivers. They had, it, they had it easy last week with Cooper Cup not being around. But, they're going to have it really bad this week, because Evans kind of took the game off last time. There was more like Brown, they did some running. They're going to have, Ron Jones is going to be a lot more healthier to take some of that off of Fournette. I think Fournette finally has found his role and became the player that Tampa Bay invested in. The minute that Fournette went to Tampa Bay, I had put in my third or second Tampa Bay wins the Super Bowl bet. Because I already had one. I had one when Brady went. I had one when he came. And I think I bought another one or two. Or three. It's weird. But anyway. Yeah, it's, to me... Tampa Bay has the... I know that the Packers are great, but I think Tampa Bay and the level they're playing at, they beat a better team this week. So they're a little hotter. You know, they had the... They had to play to get to this point. So they're fresher. And then, you know, the Rams did put some whip in. Did, did, get at, did get at the Packers, but not much. So I think Aaron Jones comes out. I think the passing game looks so. Look for Robert Tunyon. You're going to look for MVS and Lazard, man. I hate those guys. This is why the Packers might lose this game. Because I think Tampa Bay can really cover. So you really, they really need to start working Aaron Jones back into the passing game out of the backfield. And stop with this stupid shit they do. Because this is to go to the Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers. If you want to discount, discount double check him, dude. You guys, you guys do this. And Tom Brady... Seeing this right now, he's talking about coming back next year. No, he wins his seventh Super Bowl. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Like, uh, he really is. I mean, for all those years, you you said it was a system, and he really went to a system that was geared for him. You know. Tampa Bay was already poised, and that's why that's why they made the move. They got rid of Winston because Winston hurt them too many times, and they went to somebody that is, you know, protects the ball better, yells at people. He has the credentials to yell at people, and I I think this is excellent excellent coaching everywhere on Tampa Bay. Just good job to put yourselves in this situation and make the offseason moves. You know, go against the grain and then, you know, get that baggage to, you know, the hoodie and then who's better. And then now they're out the playoffs and now you guys are playing. So it, to me, Tampa Bay does have the edge. I think Tampa Bay has the better defense. I think Tampa Bay has the better offensive options, but I think Green Bay's hotter and they played a harder defense this week without their best guy, but because you know Aaron Donald didn't play much, but ah, so I my picks are Mahomes plays Kansas City, and Tampa Bay. 
the best thing about that is, is if that if they both make it, I'm gonna win hundreds of dollars if either one of them wins. So it doesn't matter. That gives me my best chance as a better to win. I think that I would like to see kind of like. Uh, See, I had this fight with Mahomes is going to be better than Tom Brady. And I think that if Mahomes does play Tom Brady and they beat Tampa Bay, that that solidifies like that Mahomes is going to that next level. On the other hand, it's been a while since Aaron Rodgers has tasted that. And like I said, and it was referring to earlier, he's been through some shit years with, you know, good old Mike Big Mac. And yeah, I said that Mike Big Big Mac, <laughs> Mike Big Big Mac, the Big Mac, the Big Big. What? <laughs> yeah, McCarthy man. That's I mean, look at him. He's a laughing stock in Dallas. Can't stop nobody. Just throws up all these great, you know, coaches a great offense and just yeah, man. I always remind you of the Ryan's, and and then and then uh. You know, just some other coaches. Just, it just always was that one way, and they would always build. Like Jeff Fisher, just always had that great defense, and he always tried to build that run offense. Like you know, with the Rams and Stephen Jackson and the mighty Quinn during those years, Will Witherspoon years, and he could just never put it together because he had this. He he just never. He went this every season with not a strong backup and a brittle ass starter quarterback, and. It, it, it was almost like the Rams of the mid '90s. They just were like Tony Banks, and that dude was worse in turnovers than Jameis Winston. So, you know, I'm a little off topic talking about the Rams, but you know, you gotta you gotta really put it into it. I think if we see Kansas City and Green Bay in the Super Bowl, I think that'll be a hell of a game. But as of right now. My picks are Kansas City and Tampa Bay. That's what I'm going to have to go with. I think Tom Brady gets it done. I think he goes to another Super Bowl. I don't want to say that, people. I am the biggest Brady hater. But like I said, when I got in that argument and then I seen him do this with this offense, which I knew he could. I mean, it's to me, you got to really look at the, the context of it. Because... It's, he's hungry. And Bruce Arians is hungry. He had those years, you know? And everybody always got down on him. And then I remember when he was down on him in Pittsburgh too. But I like Bruce Arians. I've always I've always had a special heart for Tampa Bay, even though we're being a Rams fan. It's, Tom Brady goes there. So, you know, it was really easy for me to make those bets. And to, and to see why this team and his... his but, of course, they didn't have a real season or, like, a real OTAs in that because of COVID. So they didn't have that time to meld. They didn't have that preseason to get, get sharp and come out week one. They really had to learn. And then the Saints really gave them a good learning stick. And then the Saints got learned. But I think that he can do it. Now, do you want to see Andy Reid? Or do you want to see... Arians get that Super Bowl, you know, but that's that's next week. We're not going to talk about that. So with that being said, I, I do want to move over to the DraftKings kind of thing. So we know there's four four quarterbacks right now. Am I looking at Chad Henney, what I've seen from him and the playmakers he has around him? Yeah, $5,000 on GK, that's, that's a good play, but I think Mahomes plays. I think Josh Allen is definitely your safest bet because he's seven hundred dollars more. Tom Brady, sixty one hundred. He's gonna get it done. Each one of these quarterbacks have averaged over twenty some points a week. You can't go wrong with any of them, but somebody's gonna have a better game. And you could probably see Kansas City probably trying to run the ball a lot more in this one, but maybe not. But I, I gotta say, this is on Josh Allen. I think the best, the quarterback that has the highest potential is Josh Allen. So if I was to rate the co- the quarterbacks right now, it's Allen, Mahomes, Rodgers, Brady. Because Rodgers is going to have to throw on Tampa Bay. And he can do that. 
And he will do that. I just don't think that the second and third receivers are, you know, I just don't believe in them. And then one scores a touchdown. It was kind of like Traquan Smith. That I, that dude is such a punk, man. He only shows up like one at once every five games. And I got him on my dynasty team because I was like, man, maybe he'll do some stuff. Every week that Michael Thomas was gone, dude was non-existent. Literally didn't even get targets, like maybe three targets. He would catch one seven-yard touchdown. Get the hell out of here. That dude is sorry. Sorry, dude. He gave y'all Saint fans hope. Go L.A. Ha! <laughs> running backs. Okay, Aaron Jones is your highest running back, 6,500. When you see your highest running back, 6,500, it means you got to have your receivers right. You got Fournette at 5,300. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he'll probably play. So you're looking at 5,000. Darrell Williams, 48. Ron Jones, 46. Singletary, 45. And then you have the bunch. I'm going to say Singletary is your cheap back. That's your flex. I always flex running backs. That start. Now, Singletary, he. He, he, he only got you 6.7 points. He got three catches for 12, seven attempts for 25. You know, Baltimore plays a, a, a rush to pass or strong nose defense. So I think he can get that. That's your flex player. Uh, you're, you're, see, I don't like the whole Aaron Jones. If he gets through the end zone, I can see Williams in there, man. That's what drives me crazy about the Packers. So at that point, I'm skipping Aaron Jones. I think I, man, and you got Fournette or Jones. That's like a, I hate, I hate running back this week. You know, I'm cool starting a receiver at flex, by the way. So I say Devin Singletary and uh, Fournette because, I mean, Ronald Jones still went 13 for 62 last game, but he got no work in the past game, right? Letter he got 17 for 63, but he got five catches for 44 in that touchdown. So I think you go Fournette, Singletary. There you go. And you could pay up for quarterback, so you can get Mahomes or you can get Josh Allen. Right. So you're I'm not really scared about anybody. Like you got to play Adams. So Adams is one. Tyreek Hill has to be two. He's still so good, but he's gonna have. Buffalo's really going to be on on him. Maybe not, but uh, Stephon Diggs is still going to get his catches. But I think I think Mike Evans goes ham. So I would go Adams, Evans. Uh, Antonio Brown is questionable, so I don't think you worry about that. At this point, you might want to go like John Brown if you want to take that chance right there and hope like that. But I would I would go Adams, Diggs, Evans, and Hill. I bet you could work those all in. That's how we roll. Tight end, Kelsey. You, you, that's, you, 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 this is where you go. Instead of worrying about your flex player, Kelsey, get him in. Because you go from 8,000 to 3,600, right? But I think Tunyon's going to get some work. And also, you know, he gets he was four for 60 that, and at, at four targets. I mean, you're going to give that up. But if you can get everybody else, that's great. Tunyon gets you a touchdown. That's that's what you want right there because outside of that you can I mean you can either pay up for Kelsey if not after that you gotta go Tunyon I don't think there's a reason to go down to Dawson Knox because uh, but he did he he you know he only had two targets he caught two catches that's not really what you want to do so you know as I said your DFS and then uh, you do have to pick a defense I think you picked the Tampa Bay defense. I don't. I don't think the Packers at thirty six at this point is going to make a difference. I think if Vita Vey comes back, you take that Tampa Bay defense at the bottom of the thing. So here goes your lineup right here. You get this for listening to bring the pain, right? Josh Allen. Now you can put Patty Mahomes in. Go Fournette. Oh man, I love Aaron Jones. Oh, he's my dude. Singletary, Adams, Diggs, Evans, Kelsey. Bucks, see now you're left with a problem. You gotta come off Kelsey. Oh, I had uh, go with Tunyon, sixty-two hundred. Uh, just leads you almost to Aaron Jones. 
but gives you uh, gives you Chris Godwin and gives you Clyde Edwards Hilaire. So I don't believe anything they're gonna say about Le'Veon Bell. That's when you would go Daryl Williams. So you go Daryl Williams, right? But that only puts you at five thousand. If you really want, you would have to give up Diggs to go to John Brown to get, and you're still three hundred dollars off. So instead of going Daryl Williams, you would have to go Le'Veon Bell. So if you want Josh Allen, Fournette, Singletary, Adams, Brown, you know, let's just go off of Brown. You got Mikkel Hardman. Sammy Watkins is questionable. And then you got Valdez Scantling. So maybe that's where you take your thing. You just stack stack the pack game go Josh Allen, Fournette, Singletary, Devontae Adams, MVS, Mike Evans, Travis Kelsey, Daryl Williams, and the Bucks defense. Boom. There's your there, there's your there's your there's your lineup. That's a solid lineup. That's gonna get you points. That's gonna get you targets. Um Hardman, if, if Watkins plays, there's other players around that area. So I think that, you know, you get the idea, you get the you get where I was going. I hope everybody has a great week. You pretty much got my write up. I'll put that up on my Patreon as usual. And maybe I'll maybe I'll just do a separate betting and stuff. But as of right now, you have you have my DFS ideas. I've explained to you who I was gonna pick and who was gonna be on my write up. You know what I got. That's how you bring the pain. That's why we do this. I hope all of you have a great, great week. It's early, people. It's only Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. And this week. I promise to you, I will have an amazing bring the pain for you. It's been a while since I did a crazy one. I'll let the heat override out and do things that make me a jerk. If you smell the DFS winnings and betting winnings we're all going to have this week. Ooh, yeah. Yo, everybody, it's your ride. So Bye-bye, everybody. Bring the pain. <laughs>